Oh, hello everyone, and welcome to the live stream. Sergeant Major Shrizzy is front and center, so everybody be nice, or she'll tell you off. So we're playing Science Girls tonight, as voted for by you guys, at least those of you who uh, voted. Lucky Nerd 64, Melody Buster, Old Lady Sewer, hello guys, and welcome to the chat. Jock08, hello. Alright, okay, Science Girls. Now, this one is... Uh, weird. Let's just go with weird. And you will, as you will all see in a little bit, but here we go, let's start the game. So, type your character's name and hit enter. There's nothing else about her which is configurable, just her name. She is the mystery character. Okay, all right. Well, it's by Hanako Games. Did you expect normal? Oh no, dear lord, no. That's one of the reasons why I downloaded it. Okay, right. We've had two really good names here, Bob and Pizza. So if you guys could shout out one for Bob, two for Pizza, we will name based upon your vote. Couple more seconds. Anyone else want to chime in? <laughs> Bob Pizza. <laughs> okay, we'll go with Pizza. So, meet Pizza. Or oh, Margarita to her friends. She uh, so she studies psychology and she likes pizza, horses and modern art. This is a bit like herself. My mother told me that would make me go blind. I don't know. All right, here we go. All right. Okay, so I'm going to go with elementary because I just want to tell the story. This is Science Girls by Hanako Games. It's been half an hour since the end of school bell rang and the halls have gone quiet. The only people still on campus are teachers wrapping up work and students with extracurricular activities. Hello, Kellyanne. As president of the science club, it's my job to get to the classroom first and make sure everything is ready for our meeting. The other girls have been saying goodbye to their friends or working on their own projects. Hi, Pizza! Jennifer represents the science of biology. She's also the vice president of the club and tends to be bossy. Why are you wearing that mask? Okay, I'm sorry, I've got to do it. It's an experiment. Oh, right. My science, of course, is psychology. I have to keep them on their toes. Andrea's getting snacks. I saw Heather downstairs. I think she was playing a video game. I'm sure everyone will be here soon. Suddenly, from outside, we hear the sound of screams. Like a pack of overexcited fans rushing a rock star. What's going on? We peer out of the window to see... It's the teachers! What looks like an oversized carrot has seized hold of Ms. Bullfitch's hair. I've heard her shriek in math class, but never like that. Look, one of them's got Mr. Briar's to toupee! I didn't know he wore a toupee! It's a good one! It's made of real hair, and I know hair! Ms. Bullfinch swings her full-size teacher's edition notebook at the carrot, and it moves to dodge her blow. What are those things? Let's get down there and see if we can help. Right. I head for the door, but... A monster attacks! Okay, so this is, this is the combat section, okay? We're going to be doing an awful lot of this. Alright, um... Each character has their own attack. They can defend, they can use an item, or they can run away. So we'll start off with a punch. So we'll punch the root head. Alright, okay. And Jennifer can kick the root head. Yeah! And we won! Okay, so that basically is combat. That's great! Yeah! Ha! We sure showed it! 
But what was that thing? It looked like some kind of killer plant. That's not a plant. What do you mean? It looks like a plant to me. It has roots and leaves. Do you even know the difference between a plant and an animal? Um... Okay, over to you guys. What is the difference between a plant and an animal? Is, they, is it one of these four here? One, two, three, or four? Plants are green. Plants don't have brains. Plants don't eat food. Plants have rigid cells. Okay, I think everyone wants to go with plants have rigid cells. There we go. With cell walls, that's right. Fungi have cell walls too, but animals don't. Fungi? You mean mushrooms? Aren't they plants? No, they're fungi. It's different. Okay. A anyway, plants can't walk around and attack people. They can't chase things. That's not how plants work. Therefore, it, that's not a plant. It must be some kind of amoebozoid, or a giant slime mold. Does anyone else see tentacles in this, this game's future? She pokes at the remains of, a, of the mystery monster. I wonder why it attacked us. Maybe it was hungry, or maybe it was looking for something. If this is what went after the teachers, they could be all over the school. The school is being invaded by killer plants. They're not plants. Actually, I should get bit late onto the game, uh, onto this to uh, to voice that one, shouldn't I? Uh, <laughs> plant rights, everybody. Plants are people too, and it's up to us to save the day with the power of science. I adjust the mask on my face and dust off my hands. Come on, let's find the others. So, right, now we, we get a chance now to move around the school. Like, there's a corridor here, and each one of these are rooms. We know that that is a stairwell down to the next level, I believe. So, we can go here, and let's go into this class here. This is room 504. We're attacked by a pair of spratlings. Right, here we go. So, punch... And let's everybody attack Spratling too. Oh dear. Uh, oh, we finally managed to hit it. Jolly good. A pair of Spratlings. Oh dear. Apparently they're good at dodging these Spratlings. And apparently our characters aren't. Oh, at last we hit it. One more of them and we'll deal it the fate it deserves so well. There we go. Alright. Finally, I thought those stupid things would never stop dodging. What are they anyway? They look like bad carrots. They're a pain in the bleep. Shush. Jennifer rolls her eyes. I don't have to use ladylike language when I'm kicking. Shush. Pseudo vegetables. What did you think I was going to say? Uh huh. And is repression supposed to be bad for you? Good point. Oh no, Melody finds them cute. I'm going to be in so much trouble as I slaughter the lot of them. Oh. Come on, let me out. Right. There we go. Let's go into this room. Room 502. There is nothing there. Room 501. It's a classroom. It's in a school. It's a classroom. It's no surprise. We are attacked by a pair of root heads. Right. They will all attack root heads. Oh, okay. Root heads are a little bit more fragile. Then again, so is pizza by the looks of it. There we go. Let's got rid of them. Oh, good. Look, we've learned some stuff. Um, Pizza's going to level and learn hypnotize. Jennifer is going to level and learn first aid. 
Okay, so we now have access to special powers. Special powers use more of your SP than standard attacks do. Choose defend in combat to regain some SP. If all the girls are defending at once, they will receive a bonus SP. You also have level up points. They can be used to improve your stats and strengthen your attacks. A double exclamation mark indicator will appear by the menu button when you have unused level up points available. So there we go. Let's go into the menu and let's level up these guys. Oh, we got some mandarins. Which I presume you'll do a little bit of healing. So. This is Pizza. She's got health of 31, which we can up to 36. Accuracy of 7. Evasion of 3. That could actually use a bit of a, uh, a buff, couldn't it? And a special of 11. But she has a punch. It's kind of just 2 to 6. We can up it to 2 to 8. Or we can hypnotize. Now, I'm going to go with this one because, quite frankly, stunning for one round is, is pointless. She'd do nothing but... Uh... uh <laughs> Biologist is an engineer. Uh, let me guess. The physics one. The biologist is the medic. And let me guess. The physics one is, the, is an engineer. You're most likely right. So anyway, I'm going to up hypnotize because then she can hypnotize, attack, hypnotize, attack, hypnotize, attack. So that's actually now seems a bit useful. But uh, the SP cost is gone from three to six. Okay, so I'll do that one. And Jennifer who his studies biology, likes oranges, lizards, and ballet. Okay, and her first aid will recover 10 to 15, or we can up it to 15 to 25, but her kick... I tell you what, okay, I think I'm going to give up a point to kick on this one. Okay, so she's now going to do a bit more damage. 2 to 8. Next level, it'll go up to 3 to 12 if we up it up. So, this is now our damage character. I apply changes. There we go. Alright, so... Back into the game. There we go. Right, and, uh... This is 505. It's a biology lab. We are attacked by a Spratling. Okay, so, right, we can use our specials like this. Use special power. Hypnotize. Hypnotize the Spratling. There we go. Put it to sleep. And kick Spratling. Oh, wow. Damage character did two points of damage. Okay, it looks like attacking them wakes them up. Now, that's worth remembering. So, we... It's not a paralysis sort of thing, but it's a, if we're attacked by two things, we can put one to sleep. And attack the other one. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Let's go down here. This is lab 506. It was a bio lab for a couple of weeks. Then the spiders got loose in 505. We're attacked by a slirup. That is a slirup. Punch, slirup. Okay, kick, slirup. And it's dead. No messing around with these guys. <laughs> if I'm asleep when I'm hit, I stay asleep. It depends on how hard you hit, I should imagine. Eat your veg before they eat you. Oh, this is interesting. I shudder. It's creepy. Flowers aren't supposed to have eyes or tongues. Those might not actually be eyes. Butterflies and fish often have false eye spots to deter predators. For all we know, its eyes are somewhere else, or it doesn't have eyes at all. Maybe it uses stamen-like protrusion as an antenna. Well, this is just getting rude now, isn't it? A blind monster using its tongue to find me is even creepier than eyeball flower. Well, if you stay out of its mouth, you'll be safe, right? Now, let's go look for another. Oh, dear. She's mad, I tell you, mad. This is the uh, fifth floor east stairwell. There's nothing here. Well, we can go down, but I want to go back to the hallway. Just want to just check this side as well, so that way we've gone into all rooms. Okay, fifth floor west stairwell. Let's go down. Shut up, Jennifer. Nobody cares. <laughs> this is the fourth floor stairwell. We are attacked by a greater slurrup. Oh dear, boss monster. <laughs> boss monster is eaten. Oh dear. 
Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This is going to get nasty fast. Okay. Kick. Right. Okay. I was just wondering if we could change the order to keep the thing asleep, but I don't think actually think we can. Oh, right. That's a nice thing, isn't it? Right, I think I'm actually going to chuck a heel at uh, Pizza. There we go. Arigato Gazamas. All right. If ever we were left in doubt, it's a Japanese game, but uh, Hanukkah Games is Italian, if I remember right. Okay, found a donut. Yay. Yuck, I got stirrup slime all over me. Me too. I think it's mostly water. It probably won't stain. Good thing the, the two kids have already gone home. They'd be gobbled up whole. We were gobbled up whole. Yeah, but we can take care of ourselves. Suddenly we hear footsteps approaching us, running heavily down the hall. Prepare for battle! She raises her fists and braces against the oncoming monster, but what rushes through the door is... Thanks guys, there you are! Nicole is a science club member representing the science of physics. She also runs on the track team. I heard a racket and I was worried. She reaches out to give Jennifer a hug. Why are you covered in slime? Ah! The school is under attack and it's up to the science club to save the day. Have you seen anything? There's crazy plants all over the place. They're not plants. Well, they're not earth plants. They're alien life forms. That still doesn't make them plants. They don't meet the definition. Wait, you think these are aliens? You've been reading too much science fiction. They're clearly not machines, and they're clearly not any sort of life that I know about. But I don't believe in aliens. Ain't a scientist supposed to keep an open mind? A scientist is supposed to search for proof and not jump to conclusions. Well, I'd love to dissect and study these monsters. <laughs> we'd, we'd better find the rest of the club. Right. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Nicole has joined the party. She's level 2 and she has the power of the lightning bolt. Okay, looks like we can level her up, so let's do that. Right, she's got a basic attack and her lightning bolt attack. Um, we can up that. It does 10 to 15 points of damage. But that's going to start using 7 mana. And... Do we see where our mana is? No, we don't. Let's go back one. Her mana, she's got 10 mana. So if we, if we don't up that, she'll be able to do 2 of them. Uh, if we do up that, she'll do more damage, but... Uh, Mm, I think we're going to put a point in here, to be totally honest with you. That should up her special points. Apply changes. Back. There you go. So we're now going to get three lightning bolts out of her. Yes, lightning for physics is very good, isn't it? Alright, okay. So let's have a look at these guys. Jennifer could use some spell points. Um, pizza is alright. And Nicole is at full house, so good. So let's go to the hallway. We've got another place to explore. This is room 401, the art room. What's happened here? The room is a mess. Cabinets are hanging open with papers and bottles of paint strewn across the floor. Artists aren't very organized. This is more than just forgetting to clean up after class. Someone was searching this room. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, normal art classroom. Maybe someone was trying to make a weapon. We should certainly ask Andrea if you can do anything nasty with paint, chemically. I see a lot of paint here, but no paintbrushes. Why would someone take the paintbrushes? Well, perhaps the mole people are in work with the plants, and they're very angry at all these, uh, all these paintbrushes. 
I don't know. Where's Andrea anyway? Last I saw her, she was heading down to the cafe cafeteria. We'd better keep moving. I can kill with paint if I've got enough to drown someone with. Yes. This is classroom 402. We are attacked by a stealth ball. Yes, that looks very stealthy. Alright, okay, alright. So I've just noticed here, actually, we do get some spell points back at the start of every fight, so... That's good. Right, punch. Stealth ball. Okay, kick. The stealth ball. And because we haven't tried it... Cast a lightning bolt at the stealth ball. Ooh, lots of damage. There we go, that took care of that nice and easily. Okay. It's totally camouflaged. See the twigs! <laughs> this is room 403. Someone has written, Entrance forbidden. This means you! On the blackboard. We're attacked by a pair of greater stirrups. Okay. <clears throat> I think this is the point where we use our special attack to keep one of these asleep. Alright, and we'll hypnotize Greater Slurrup 1. I love the fact she uses a watch, that's brilliant. Kick. Greater Slurrup 2. Yep. Yeah. And let's cast the Lightning Bolt for Greater Slurrup 2 as well. Yeah, loads of damage. Okay, so, punch. Uh, and kick. There we go, we got rid of that one, so now... How are we doing for spell points? We can get one more out of her. Let's do it. Special lightning, greatest hero. That wakes it up. Okay. Let's just kill this thing off. Alright, and jab. Yeah. Oh, very nearly leveled. Very nearly leveled. How long have I been streaming? Since 7.30, so about 20 minutes. It's a lot easier fighting those things with you guys to help. They attacked you before? Yeah, but nothing I couldn't handle. What are you doing here on your own? Just reading. Reading comic books, you mean? It's still reading, isn't it, Peter? Okay, over to you guys. Is reading comic books proper reading? Yes or no? Well, I expected nothing less from you guys. Reading comic books is proper reading. If it has text in it, it's still reading. There you go. So, these creatures attacked you. Did, they, did you see where they were coming from? You can tell we're all nerd. Yeah, nerd power. Oh, did they land on a rocket ship? Doubt it. It's pretty hard to land a rocket. What do you mean? Where? How does a rocket work? One, two, three or four. Burning fuel, pushing hot gas, chain reacting explosives or anti-gravity. Oh, welcome back, uh, Melody. Two, two for two, any more? Two, two, two. Three, okay, well to be totally honest you, they're all more, and that's the annoying thing about this one I've noticed, they're all more or less right, but we'll go for two because most of you voted for it. That's right. The rocket engine burns fuel and pushes super hot gas out backward, which makes the whole rocket shoot forward in an equal and opposite reaction. Rockets are good at going in one direction really fast, usually up. If you fired a rocket down at the ground, it would smash into pieces when it hit. So you have to fire the rocket up to slow you down while you fall backwards, which makes it hard to steer. If a rocket landed like that, we'd all hear it coming. There'd be big fires and noise, worse than a plane. So, there wasn't any rocket. We'll all have to keep looking to find out how they got here. Right. 
This is Classroom 404, there is nothing here. On to the next one. This is Lab 405. We're attacked by a greater Slurrup and a pair of Slurrups. Yeah! Little horse riders joke here, what we need is a Slurrup strap. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay, punch. Let's attack the greater Slurrup. Get that out, there we go. And... I'm personally thinking, let's see if we can take out some of these... these... Ooh, actually no, let's concentrate on the greater Slurrup, kill it off. Okay. Oh, oh dear. Engulfed again. That one obviously likes the taste of Dickol. What can I say? And that just sounded really weird. Alright, kick. Alright, and we'll finish it off with a lightning bolt. Bang! Yes, she just mewed. Because these are Japanese schoolgirls. Need I say more? Yep, okay, they're gonna win this one. Uh, pizza could use a bit of a heal again, I think, but we'll put it off for a little bit. Ooh, couple of levels up there. I do love the sound in this game, I gotta be honest with you. <laughs> Okay, pizza. Right, we can up your hypnotize, and that will last three rounds. That actually feels quite a good idea. Or we can do you a little bit more damage in your punch. Yeah, how much more does it cost? Eight for three rounds. Yeah, we'll go with that. That sounds like a good deal. Apply changes, and Jennifer. Healing's still alright. You still seem to have a fairly good amount of mana, so let's let's start. let's go more down the damage route. So three to twelve. There we go. So Jennifer is now our hard kicking mother fluffer. Yes, and I said fluffer. Return. This is Lab 406. We get attacked by a pair of Trevines. Hmm, this is a knotty problem. Alright, so. Do the same deal here. Let's just fight fight one of them too. Oh, they do a lot of damage. Okay, I think I'm going to start thrucking out some um, heals. First aid, let's heal Nicole. There we go. And. Get yeah, back taking these out. Punch. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Let's do. Let's chuck a lightning bolt at one of them. See if we get it out of the way. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Kick. Yeah. yeah. Okay, kick. And yeah. we got rid of them. Okay, so you leveled up, gained five health, health points and six uh, special points. Three special points, rather. Okay, so... Let's have a look at you. Now we can really, really up the, uh, the, uh, the damage on the... Uh, um... The lightning bolt, we can up the jab, what else can we do? Up a, really up a special, evasion and up a little bit, accuracy up a little bit, and health up a little bit. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with the lightning. We need to get to the root of Simon's pun problem, Shizzy. Nobody will, nobody ever will. Okay, so that costs 7, so she'll be able to cast 2 of them, and that will do 15 to 25 damage. That's really quite a good whack there. Okay, so we've done all this. Let's go to the hallway. 